five years. Matt Markham is live outside the Albany County Courthouse where jurors found Jala Vanderhorst guilty of manslaughter. Zimmerman told police he began retreating to his car. Clips from Bland's video blogs. Tickets are still available for the film, which is being shown. Only fired his weapon after Martin jumped him from behind. Zimmerman has Hello. Are you okay? I'm okay. What's going on? Thank God you're okay. I was just watching the news, and I saw a story about a cop shooting another young black boy. Damn, again? Yes, again. And the first thought I had was to call you, because I know you be out there doing your thing, you know? So I'm glad you're home, chillin'. Uh, we're not going to take too much more of that. Yeah, I know. I'm with you on that. All right, let me go. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I want to check out the rest of the story. Love you. Mystery death of a young man in Baltimore police custody. Night in the case of a neighborhood watch captain in Florida who shot and killed an unarmed 17-year-old. Unarmed African-American teenager was shot and killed by police. Sandra Bland died in police custody. Albany man who stabbed a 20-year-old woman to death. 17-year-old boy who was stabbed and later died. Albany teen is headed to prison for up to 25 years. I mean, it's just sincerely. Yeah. Fuck the police, don't ever let them niggas get near me. Fuck. They picking us off one by one, this shit is getting scary. Damn. And yeah, we had it up to here, my people getting weary, son of Mary. Jesus. Uh, like how you think we feel? Think we feel? I'm on my knees every night praying that peace be Love still. Is. Cause I know a lot of angry humans with a piece of steel. Yeah. And they with every single bit, cause they ready to drill, ready to kill, ready to make you feel how we feel with no hesitation. Ready to violate your rights and slam you to the pavement, or face incarceration, or take your life for demonstration. Ready to put a bomb in the station for detonation. I'm losing my patience. Cause this ain't what I wanna see But yeah. according to them This is exactly where we're supposed to be Cause how we supposed to live free In a land that ain't even free Who was stolen by English thieves Getting rich from collecting fees Now people ain't on their feet And mamas can barely feed their children And they keeping us distracted by social feeds Inhaling but we can't breathe Family members on tease We drown our pain in some liquor And roll it up in our weed Now we in need Develop a love for the drug Go and flip a couple packs for a dub Graduated to becoming a plug Even pitching to the Kids in the subs, stacking money, hit the club, popping bug, women showing love, niggas showing love. People start to judge, then they start to envy, then they set you up, they don't give a fuck. You got a target on your back because you black, and though that's whack, those are facts. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. And you would think that hatred wouldn't even be debated. The fact I even had to make that statement even gets me livid. I just want to know, where do we turn? Where do we go? Where we learn? Where we grow? It seems we're stagnant, moving slow. And I be steady wondering, when will all of this thunder in? I said my prayers to you, Lord, begging to stop this suffering. April 30th, 2011. Started off like any other day. Tyler and Denise, they woke up. They were watching TV, they were messing around with each other. <laughs> Tyler was funny. Tyler was my old soul. The day before all this happened, Tyler came to me. July chased, ran down the block, I was chasing my son. I said, Tyler, I said, you just, said, you just gotta leave him alone. I said, you gotta stay away. He's like, Mom, no matter how much I try, he's there. He's there. Watch my friends get slammed to the concrete Wonder when it'll happen to me Through the night I don't get sleep We just want our fucking I just saw you at the start of the weekend Sun peeking out the school practice we were leaving Moving fast, spoken passing, kept it brief Not knowing that that would be the last time that we'd be even speaking Damn, still an astonishment at the park minding your business when he chose you to start it with a simple argument over some childish shit he wanted to get it shaking like some parkinson's see you weren't timid you just weren't with it didn't neglect your intellect made a conscious decision see that nigga had a plan but he had a mental gem because what he had inside his hand was a weapon to end it backed off till you couldn't back no more worrying your eyes that your fate was so unsure in a quick motion, that knife pierced your skin, went deep through your chest. The coward ran, you tried to chase him, you collapsed and took your last breath. All this shit could have been avoided if the people standing around wasn't only recorded. If they had other interests instead of seeing a fight and intervene, then you would probably still have your life. That shit ain't right, but we lost two lives. 
One to the grave, other a slave to the system from crime. Two mothers crying, mourning, dying inside. We gotta do better, or at least try. Seven o'clock. My phone rings, 716 area code. I thought it was a bill collector, I ignored it. Number calls back, hello? Tyler's been stabbed. It was Tyler's friend, Hanif. Where the fuck are you? He's like, we're at the park. Slam the phone down, I'm running out the house. My husband comes up from the basement. He's like, what's going on? I said, Tyler's just been fucking stabbed. I pull up. I see maybe five people there. EMTs, firefighters, ambulance, tons of detectives. I'm screaming. Tyler, Tyler! And this cop looks at me and says, who are you? Like, I'm this crazy white woman. I said, that's my son. I fall to the ground. My son's laying on the ground with only four or five people around. There was a lady. My son took his last breath in a lady's lap that he didn't know, but not my own. Not me, I wasn't there when I got there. Tyler, I was there, and I know you knew I was there. There's nothing I could do. They wouldn't let me get close to you. But your stepfather did. He got right on top of you. He saw the wound in your chest. He saw the wound. Get to Albany, man. I prayed for you. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. John, God, Lord, please. Doctor comes in at 720. Miss Rhodes, I'm sorry. There's nothing that we could do. I said, what do you mean? He's like, we tried everything. There was nothing we could do. I miss you every day. Our lives have changed dramatically. Your sister misses you so much. If I had five minutes with you, I just want to hold you and smell you again and tell you how much I love you.